If you don't like memorizing boring science terms but still want to ace your next biology quiz, then stick around. Because PCR is simpler than you think. Whether you're a student, a curious parent, or just someone who loves learning how the world works, you're about to discover one of the coolest inventions in modern science. PCR isn't just a jumble of letters you have to memorize for a test. It's a real-life superpower that scientists use every single day. And by the end of this video, you'll not only understand what PCR is, but you'll also be able to explain it to your friends, your family, or even your teacher. So let's break it down together, step by step, and see why PCR is such a game-changer in the world of biology and beyond. PCR stands for Polymerase Chain Reaction, and it's basically the ultimate DNA copying machine. Imagine if you had a magical photocopier that could take a single page and turn it into millions of identical pages in just a few hours. That's what PCR does, but instead of paper, it works with DNA, the instruction manual for all living things. PCR is a technique that allows scientists to take a tiny, almost invisible amount of DNA and make enough copies to study, test, or even solve mysteries. It's like having a superpower in the lab, and it's used in everything from medicine to crime solving to exploring our family trees. Imagine you have just one page of a book, but you need a whole stack. PCR makes that happen for DNA and fast. Let's say you found a single hair at a crime scene, or a tiny drop of blood, or even a fossil from thousands of years ago. There might only be a minuscule amount of DNA in that sample, so little that you can't even see it with your eyes. But with PCR, you can make millions or even billions of copies of that DNA, turning a tiny clue into a mountain of evidence. It's like turning a single grain of rice into a whole bowl or a single note into a symphony. That's the magic of PCR, and it's why it's used in labs all over the world. But how does PCR actually work? What's happening inside those little tubes and fancy machines? Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. In fact, you can think of PCR as a recipe with just a few key ingredients and three main steps. Once you understand the basics, you'll see that it's really just a clever way to copy DNA over and over again, using the power of heat, chemistry, and a little bit of biological magic. Here's how it works in three simple steps. First, the DNA gets heated up so its double helix unwinds. Think of it as unzipping a zipper. DNA is made of two long strands twisted together, like a spiral staircase or a zipper on your jacket. When you heat it up, those two strands come apart, just like unzipping your coat. This step is called denaturation, and it's the first key to making copies. By separating the strands, you create two single templates that can be copied. The PCR machine, also known as a thermal cycler, heats the sample to around 95 degrees Celsius, almost boiling, to break the bonds between the strands. It's a bit like melting chocolate so you can reshape it into something new. Next, special short pieces called primers attach to the DNA, showing where to start copying. Think of primers as bookmarks or sticky notes that tell the copying machine exactly where to begin. These primers are designed to match specific sequences on the DNA, so they only stick to the right spots. This step is called annealing, and it happens when the temperature is lowered to around 50, 65 degrees Celsius. The primers find their matching spots on the single DNA strands and lock into place, setting the stage for the next step. Without primers, the copying process wouldn't know where to start and you'd end up with a jumbled mess instead of perfect copies. Then an enzyme named TAC polymerase jumps in and builds new DNA strands using building blocks called nucleotides. TAC polymerase is like a super fast construction worker grabbing the right pieces and snapping them into place to build a brand new DNA strand that matches the original. This step is called extension or elongation, and it happens at about 72 degrees Celsius. The enzyme reads the template strand and adds the matching nucleotides, A, T, C, and G, one by one, creating a perfect copy. It's like following a recipe to bake a cake, adding each ingredient in the right order to get the perfect result. And the best part? Tuck polymerase can handle the heat, so it keeps working even when things get hot. These three steps repeat about 30 times, and suddenly you've got millions of DNA copies from just one. Each cycle doubles the amount of DNA, so the numbers grow incredibly fast. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on. After 30 cycles, you can have over a billion copies from a single starting piece. It's exponential growth like a snowball rolling down a hill and getting bigger and bigger with every turn. 
That's why PCR is so powerful. It takes a tiny, almost invisible amount of DNA and turns it into enough material to study, test, or even solve a crime. Now you might be wondering, why do we need so many copies of DNA? Why not just study the original? The answer is that DNA is incredibly tiny and fragile. A single molecule isn't enough to see, test, or analyze. By making millions of copies, scientists can run experiments, look for mutations, or compare samples. PCR is like turning up the volume on a whisper so everyone in the room can hear it. It's the key to unlocking the secrets hidden in our genes, and it's used in all kinds of amazing ways. Why is PCR so important? It helps us test for diseases like COVID-19, solve crimes with DNA fingerprinting, check for genetic disorders, and even figure out who's related to whom. During the COVID-19 pandemic, PCR tests became a household name. When you got a nasal swab, the lab used PCR to look for tiny bits of the virus's genetic material. If they found it, you tested positive. In forensics, PCR can take a tiny drop of blood or a single hair and make enough DNA to match a suspect or identify a victim. In medicine, PCR helps doctors find genetic mutations that cause diseases, so they can diagnose and treat patients more effectively. And in genealogy, PCR lets us trace our family roots, connecting us to ancestors from centuries ago. It's even used in agriculture, to check for genetically modified crops, and in wildlife conservation, to study endangered species. The possibilities are endless, and PCR is at the heart of it all. All in just a few hours. That's right. What used to take days or even weeks can now be done in a single afternoon. PCR has revolutionized science by making DNA analysis faster, cheaper, and more accurate than ever before. It's like going from sending letters by horse to sending instant messages on your phone. Scientists can now get answers in hours instead of waiting for days which means faster diagnoses, quicker crime solving, and more discoveries every day. Here's a fun fact. TAC polymerase, the superstar enzyme of PCR, comes from a bacterium that lives in hot springs. This bacterium, called Thermus aquaticus, was discovered in the steaming waters of Yellowstone National Park. Scientists realized that its enzymes could survive the extreme heat needed for PCR, making it the perfect tool for the job. Before TAC polymerase, PCR was almost impossible because regular enzymes would break down at high temperatures. But TAC can handle the heat, just like a superhero in a volcano. Thanks to this tiny microbe, PCR became practical, reliable, and accessible to labs all over the world. That means it won't break down when things get really heated. TAC polymerase is so tough that it keeps working cycle after cycle, building new DNA strands without missing a beat. It's one of the reasons PCR is so efficient and dependable. And it's a great example of how nature can inspire amazing breakthroughs in science. Who would have thought that a tiny bacterium living in a boiling hot spring would help us diagnose diseases, catch criminals, and explore our genetic heritage? PCR has truly changed the world. In forensics, it's helped solve countless crimes by matching DNA from crime scenes to suspects. In medicine, it's allowed doctors to detect viruses, bacteria, and genetic mutations with incredible precision. In research, it's opened up new frontiers in genetics, evolution, and biotechnology. And in everyday life, it's made things like ancestry testing and disease screening faster and more affordable than ever before. PCR is the unsung hero behind so many scientific advances, quietly working behind the scenes to make the impossible possible. So, next time you hear about DNA tests or forensics, remember PCR is the real MVP behind the scenes. It's the invisible engine that powers so much of modern science, turning tiny clues into big discoveries. Whether you're watching a crime show, reading about a new medical breakthrough, or just curious about your own family tree, PCR is probably playing a role. It's a reminder that even the smallest things, like a single strand of DNA, can have a huge impact when you know how to unlock their secrets. Got more science mysteries you want explained? Hit like and subscribe for more easy science. And if you have questions about PCR, DNA, or any other science topic, drop them in the comments below. We love hearing from curious minds like you, and we're always here to help make science simple, fun, and exciting. Remember, science isn't just about memorizing facts. It's about exploring, discovering, and understanding the world around us. So keep asking questions, keep learning, and keep being awesome. Until next time, stay curious.